what I'm watching isn't just PV panel production, it's more like printing money. And this is real cash. Let me explain why. From here on out, these solar panels will continuously generate energy and economic returns for the next 25 to 30 years. Now on average, it takes just 16 to 18 seconds to produce one of these solar panels at the Lighthouse factory. That the operational results improved dramatically. Yeah. Like energy consumption is down 20%, mm -hmm. uh, and our throughput is increased 80%. One of the destinations for these solar panels is northwestern China. I am surrounded by what you can call the world's most energetic horse. The solar steed galloping in the Kubuchi Desert here in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region is constructed with nearly 200,000 solar panels and is 196 soccer fields large. Around seven to eight kilometers from where we are right now flows China's second longest river, the Yellow River. Now, besides providing clean energy, this vast array of solar panels serve as a first line of defense against the desert sand from blowing into the Yellow River, thereby better protecting water quality and the communities that rely on it. The project will contribute to ecological management of eight million mu of desert and PV management of three million mu while supporting 10 gigawatts of new energy capacity. Installation of solar panels has breathed new life into a rather inhospitable terrain. That's because the shade provided by the solar panels creates this microclimate underneath, better locking in the soil moisture from evaporation by sunlight. As you can see behind me, we have a flock of sheep here as well, which can graze on the grass provided by the shade from the solar panels. I think China's doing a good job on thinking through what to do because China has a, it has a planning process. It looks to the future. It, it sets milestones and dates. It looks to what China's going to be in the year 2049. Uh, it thinks through what kind of transformation should be made. It invests systematically in the technologies that will be needed for that transformation. I admire all of that.